Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing good out there. I'm doing great. Today's video is brought to you by Sticka Steves. So what is Sticka Steve's? Well, basically what you see here, and it's pretty much self-explanatory, it's Steve making a lot of stickers. They are vinyl decal stickers that are for different applications, and he has a very large variety of different type of stickers or decals for anything you want. Where passion begins. So, I'm not for doing a kind of a wrap or whatever on a body of a guitar, but if you want to customize your guitar, there are all kinds of different type of vinyl wraps with different graphics or designs on them on eBay that you can choose from to customize your guitar any way you want. Now, I don't recommend doing this on like a flame maple or quilted maple top or it's bolted maple, but it's your choice and you can do what you want. So right here we have my daughter's guitar and personally, you know, this has got some really nice figuring in the wood. Um, they really did a nice job with the finish on this thing. I really wouldn't put any type of a wrap sticker or, you know, any type of a decal on the body of this guitar, but it's not mine. And my daughter wants me to personalize this more to what she's into and her taste. So. Looking online, going through eBay, I found Sticka Steve's. This is the packaging that you will get when you order any type of a guitar wrap from these guys. And uh, yeah, they are pretty thick wall, very well protected, very hard to try to crush this uh, packaging. And it's sealed on both ends. You know, this end I end up cutting off. So I end up getting two of these because uh, I screwed up and I'm going to explain how I screwed up on the first wrap that I tried to apply at this. So what do you get when you order from Sticka Steve's? Well, you get actually quite a bit more than you ask for. Um, quite a bit more. Quite a bit more. Quite a bit. Still pulling stuff out there. All right. So what he ends up doing is he gives, sends you, you know, his personalized stickers for his business which is pretty cool. I'm going to put one of these on my car. And he ends up sending you a bunch of other stickers. So, yeah. This is just some of them. Pac-Man. Remember Pac-Man? And then he gives you a sample of other stickers that you can use or not use. All depends. Now, there's a lot of pot stickers and ciders. So, you guys who like your you know, 420 and celebrating and uh, smoking weed. Well, he does sell a lot of those stickers too, or decals. So what is the wrap? What does it look like? You know, the new skins that you're gonna put on your guitar. Well, these are printed on vinyl. And these are just a couple of them that I ended up buying, which there was a third, but uh, I ended up messing this up. So. Our legs dragons. What can I say? So here's one. These are pretty heavy and pretty thick. And then here is number two. Now these are made for left-handed guitars. You can get left or right-handed. And this one, she kind of wanted to keep the uh, the headstock to sort of kind of match the body a little bit, but she still wanted to have the dragon and the fire. This one had too much blue in it, so. This, these two lost as far as, you know, but she does like the posters and that's probably what I'm gonna use them for as a poster. But I screwed up one and I screwed up one pretty bad. You know, doing 
graphics and decals on automobiles is a lot different than doing the this using this type of a graphic or decal on top of a body of a guitar. Now I'm going to put these safely inside this tube because I do not want anything to happen to any of what's in here and I know that I'm going to have more of these stickers because I got another tube. So what happened here? Normally when you're putting on decals on a vinyl decal on a vehicle, you know, some type of graphics and stuff, you will use a uh, composite of soapy water and then you will use your applicating tools to squeegee out the water and any type of bubbles that are under your decal, your graphics. Well, in this case here, you don't do that. What I found out, and I found out the hard way, now, the graphic that I put on here, I used a mixture of soapy water and a little bit of a spray container, sprayed the body real lightly, applied my decal, squeegeed out the water, and it didn't stick, it came out. It's basically, basically now just a regular poster, a vinyl poster. The glue, the adhesive that was on the back of the decal ended up um, washing off with the soap and the water. So if you ever wanted to go back to a, a normal guitar body without any type of graphics, decal, skins, whatever on top of it, this could be removed and you're able to remove, if any leftover glue gets on the body of your guitar, you're able to remove that without damaging the guitar. You can either use rubbing alcohol or you can use a little bit of a soap and water mix on a, a washcloth or some type of a rag and be able to clean the surface, be back to stock as far as the body of the guitar. So I'm gonna open this thing up, make sure everything's at the bottom. I don't wanna cut anything. Oh, they really, they cook, when they pack these, they pack these things pretty damn good. I can't even get my hand inside there. There you go, no, man. All right, so this is the decal that my daughter wanted on the body of her guitar with dust on it from the packaging and again you know or decals and these are a little bit different than the ones that I got before now this is basically a thank you okay and he autographs it for you so this is the decal that I'm going to be applying to this body. As you can see, it kind of has a little bit more of the colors that are close to the body. And I want to apply this in an area to where I may cut off one of the wings of the dragon, but at least most of the dragon will be on here and the bridge won't be covering up too much. So what I want to do is get this to be like right on the edge of the horn. Make sure my top and bottom, make sure I'm straight. And I'm going to lose about this much of the dragon on the edge, but have the bridge on without losing the face of the dragon. But before I do this, okay, you want to make sure you get the dust off of this thing. And the dust is from basically the packaging, the tube. Because with the dust on there, that could get underneath the surface, and this looks pretty good. That stretch out a little bit. Now, the prep of the body of the guitar is you see some more cardboard here. Rubbing alcohol. So you want to make sure you have no fingerprints on the body of your guitar. You want to make sure you have no oils from your hands, um, any type of debris and waxes on the body. Remove that, otherwise the adhesive is not going to stick properly. So, best way of doing it, rubbing alcohol. 
It doesn't take a lot. You don't have to soak the body of the guitar with rubbing alcohol. A little bit of rubbing alcohol on the rag. Wipe the body down. Make sure you wipe around the edges as well. Get rid of any dust, debris, anything that's going to show up under your sticker, your decal, your graphic. All right, you take another rag and dry off. Even though the rubbing alcohol will evaporate, it does leave a little bit of a film. So you want to make sure you get that film off the body. You don't have to scrub it, but you do want to clean off the area. Now this body does have an arch to it. So there is going to be a little bit of pulling it up and stretching a little bit. It is a vinyl decal, so you can stretch it in order to get the angles and the curve that you want around the body of the guitar, especially if you have an arch top. All right, so I got my applicators here. Also, you need something like a credit card or a driver's license. I'm not going to use my credit card or my driver's license. I'm going to use this. And what I want to do my hands are clean and make sure this dust is off of here and there's nothing on here. So what I want to do is I want to peel back one side of this decal. Now this glue that's on here is pretty tacky. Like I said, this is a very heavy vinyl. So you're not going to tear it, but you don't want to wrinkle it. So peel back some of it. Line up where you want this to go as far as the body of your guitar. Make sure that you are overlapped on all edges. Now I want to raise this up a little bit and pull it back a little bit. Sure that I'm covering the body. All right. All right, so that's how you cover a body. Now to put it together. <laughs>